simulate and recreate a sunrise and sunset on a flat earth model and win $30,000. See video for details. Flat Earth Challenge number 13. Simulate and recreate a sunrise and sunset on a scaled down physical flat earth model. Flat Earth is believed the sun circles above a flat plane just like you see here. You will set your model up similar to what you see here with a flat earth and the sun circling above. For the best results, use a large area like a field and use a drone with a light on the bottom to simulate the circling sun. Criteria number one, set up your scaled down model of the flat earth. Number two, measure the size of a scaled down model flat earth. This includes the width of the flat plane, the distance to the sun, and the sun's size according to flat earth theory. Number three, set up a camera in two locations at least 5,000 miles apart on your scaled down flat earth model. For this experiment, you will use Florida and Hawaii as your locations. Number four, ensure you have a person manning each camera as they will be recording the simulated sunrise and sunset at the same time. Number five, have another person move the scaled down sun in a circle from east to west above the flat earth model. Best to do this in a large field. This is going to simulate the circling of the sun above the flat plane. Number six, while the simulated sun is moving above the flat plane, cameras placed in Florida and Hawaii represented on the flat earth model will record the sunrise and sunset of the simulated sun. Number seven, the simulated sun will maintain its altitude throughout the flat earth simulated days. For example, if the simulated sun is 20 feet above the flat earth model plane, then it will remain at that height and will not change during the experiment. Number eight, you must explain what causes the complete blockage of sunlight immediately after sunset on a flat earth on a clear pollution free day. Your answer to this question must be backed up by science and experiments. For example, if you say atmospheric distortion, then you must explain how the atmosphere can completely block out the bright sun. Continue for number eight, you must explain how the sunlight is completely blocked after sunset and why the observer can no longer see the sun while the sun is still circling above the flat earth plane. Number nine, after immediate sunset in Florida, you must explain with science on why a person in Hawaii can still see the sun and why a person in Florida can no longer see the sun. Number 10, you must explain why the bright sun can no longer be seen during the night. What is the angle of the sun on a flat earth when the sun is at its farthest at night from the point of view of the observer? Number 11, you will also do the heliocentric globe version model on explaining the sunrise and sunset to complete this challenge. The globe model experiment will be based on what is already known. Here's a recap. Set up your flat earth model like what you see here and simulate and explain a flat earth sunrise and sunset while recording the moving sun with two cameras placed in simulated Florida and Hawaii on your flat earth model. Simulate and recreate the sunrise and sunset on the heliocentric model based on what is already known by astronomers and scientists as well as what we were taught. You will get an independent review from at least five scientific accredited academic sources on your findings using both the flat earth model and the globe earth model on explaining the sunset and sunrises. If the flat earth model wins over the heliocentric globe earth model in thoroughly explaining a sunrise and sunset, then the earth is a flat non-rotating stationary plane and you will win $30,000. What do you think about that? Now, if the globe earth heliocentric model wins out over the flat earth model, then the earth is a rotating oblate spheroid planet orbiting the sun and you will lose the challenge and will not receive the $30,000. Go for it and good luck.